Welcome back, Wolfpack Verlis here, and this is how to use Magmortar, the fiery arm cannon Pokemon that evolved from Magmar, which had a butt for a head. Let's go and look at it like that. So, looking at its stats, it's actually not a bad Pokemon for the stats, and it kind of mirrors Electivire in a way that it's more going to be a special attacker than a physical attacker, and it also has a decent amount of hit point and defensive bulk overall. A bit less speed though, and some physical attributes as well. So overall, you know, stats, they, they look pretty good, that it is that uh, evolution from the fourth generation that, you know, a lot of Pokemon did get a lot of evolutions and it really rounds out their stats. Just kind of shows with Electivire and Magmortar in these last couple videos. Look at its typing, it's a pure fire type, so we're going to see that it's weak against ground, rock, and water. It's going to have a fair bit of resistances and it's going to hit a lot of things super effective. Ice, grass, steel, and bug getting hit super effective by fire and fire getting hit super effective by that ground rock and water. So overall, you know, it's, it's got the good typing, it has a good stat distribution, and let's hop into Pokemon Showdown to make the most of this Pokemon. Now, Magmortar is going to want to do high damage, high coverage moves, and just make sure the opponent has no way of answering. Now, the, standards, the standard ways of running Magmortar kind of go against my philosophy a bit, but overall it's still a very strong Pokemon that you're going to run Focus Blast and Fire Blast. I personally don't like these moves because of the less than 90% accuracy, or even less than 100% accuracy, but if you want to take the risk, a Fire Blast stab on Magmortar with a 125 base special attack, not much is going to find a way of surviving that. Focus Blast is going to round out your coverage really well, and it even gets Thunderbolt, so you can throw a lot of threat back at Pokemon that are water, which generally threaten you. And other than that though, you're going to want a Hidden Power or Solar Beam. Now, I'm not a big fan of like trying to squeeze in some perfect hidden power on a Pokemon, because realistically it's hard to do. On top of that, you can just have Solar Beam try to play it with a Sunny Day team, or if your opponent somehow brings Sun, it just might be a nice option to have because you really don't have much else on the Choice Spec set. Uh, its ability, Vital Spirit, is really solid because Pokemon cannot fall asleep, gaining the ability while asleep cures it, so I mean, it's just going to be a Pokemon that you can bring in against Pokemon that are trying to put you asleep. Or you can just use it as a Pokemon like, ha, huh, I can't sleep, so I'm fairly safe. The way I was thinking about running it was with some hit point bulk, because with that 83 speed, even if you're running it timid, you're not going to get much out of it. So go with the high hit points, go with the high special attack, modest nature, and look for that coverage. Hit him super neutral and try to go for that KO with Fire Blast, or try to get Thunderbolt and Focus Blast where you can use it, and you'll be solid from there. On top of that, Magmortar can also be Scarfed. Now you want to run pretty much the same idea, except reverse it around a bit. Go with the speedy nature, or actually no, go with the modest nature, boost the speed with 252 EVs, 252 and special attack, and now you're going to be a very fast, just heavy hitting fire blast Pokemon that kind of ruins anything in your opponent's way. And yeah, look at that, like 383 on that special attack using a 110 base power stab move. This is like super beyond Talonflame using Flare Blitz level of damage, so you're going to have a lot of potential from there. And then when we also look at some other sets, I was thinking about Life Orb Magmortar or Leftovers Magmortar, that you're going to be able to put those hit point uh, stats back into it, you're going to have that high special attack. With Life Orb, you're going to be doing more damage, but sacrificing a bit of your sustain and durability. With Leftovers, less damage, bit more sustain, and with that, you know, it gives you a couple other options. That Clear Smog can be run on the Life Orb or Leftover set, and this is very strong. It eliminates the target stat changes, and does a bit of damage, so if your opponent's really setting up against you, bring in Magmortar, use the Clear Smog, and now you can kind of, like, really disrupt your opponent, and then work it out from there. You also have Flamethrower as an option, you know, since I don't like that lower accuracy, I would, I would personally use the Flamethrower on the Life Orb, that could still be strong. Thunderbolt coverage and Focus Blast. If you are using Leftovers, you could also pr Protect and just kind of try to gain health over time as you do it, you know. With the Leftovers, Protect into Clear Smog, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, still a good amount of coverage, still a high amount of bulk, and with that 125 base special attack, you're going to have a lot of damage in the end. So, that's how I see Magmortar. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's how you use Magmortar.